it's so awesome to have this community of awesome people that grown into this awesome thing. It's really cold. I'm just out here with no clothes on. Uh. All right, what's up? It's the first vlog of 2019. Just wanted to check in. Um, so happy new year, first of all. Uh, things are going very well so far in 2019. I think this is gonna be a fantastic, fantastic year. Training is going very well. I've been very consistent since before Christmas. 2018 was not good. 2018 was bad, training-wise. Mentally, <clears throat> 2018 was bad. Just got into a really low place that I don't want to ever be back in again. <clears throat> um, but I'm doing good in 2019. Everything's going well. I have the Sillimore 50K race coming up in February. Just a little over a month away now. And uh, focused on that. And <clears throat> training is going pretty well. I have a goal of under six hours, and I think that's a lofty goal. I don't know how well, how close I'll get to that, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, you never know. It could snow and be icy and be really hard for me to, uh, to hit that goal. It could be perfect weather, and I could make it. We'll see. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun trip. Um, <clears throat> anyway, back to the new year. I wanted to talk a bit about uh, resolutions. I don't really do New Year's resolutions. Um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I, I'll say I'll, I'll make a res resolution or whatever, but <clears throat> it's not something that's like a huge deal. But since 2018 was so, um, not hard, but just so mentally it was so very difficult uh training I, I wasn't consistent just really started beating myself down so what i did was i decided i would make some goals for 2019 and i want to talk about those a little bit or how i went about doing that and then maybe even in the next couple of videos vlogs I'll get into a little more detail and, <clears throat> and some of those and how they're how they're going. So basically, what I did was uh, I kind of got just got in just last year. Kind of felt like I wasn't really going anywhere, <clears throat> or I wasn't really doing anything um, productive. Like I didn't feel like anything. I would, I wasn't doing anything for a reason or a purpose. And so what I decided was I wanted to make sure that every day I was doing things that were that I, that I was intentionally doing things things that I cared about things that I wanted to do better at you know things that I wanted to improve I want to make sure I'm, I'm working on those things so and and it's not just fitness <clears throat> it's just lots of lots of different areas and so what I did was I took a sheet of paper <clears throat> and I just brainstormed out a whole bunch of <clears throat> excuse me a whole bunch of topics that I felt like I cared about things that meant meant something to me it could be anything it could be my wife it could be skateboarding it could be my kids it could be music uh, fitness running whatever popped into my head I wrote it all down and so then what I did was I <clears throat> looked at that giant word cloud and I started picking out things that were really important and then started grouping things together that fell underneath uh, or that were kind of similar to maybe, maybe things that fell under the same category, so to speak. And so once I grouped all those things together and, and came up with, I, I ended up with, with probably a dozen, <clears throat> a dozen or more things uh, categories <clears throat> that I wanted to work on uh, this year and so 
I took each one of those categories and underneath those, I made some very specific uh, goals, goals and, and uh, challenges. Um, I'll try to think of one, an example to give you. So the, the first one that pops into my head is um, to coach uh, a number of CrossFit classes at the gym. So I wrote down, okay, 300 days in the year, <clears throat> I want to try to shoot for coaching 100 classes at the gym, right? Right now I coach class at, at on Saturdays. It's usually like one class a week, but I feel like I need to get more involved um, with my community, with the fitness community, and so I think that'd be a good step just to assert myself and coach 100 classes. And that would help me with the larger goal of just improving the community at the gym, if that makes any sense. Um, I picked out uh, 25 uh, meal prep as another example. So I thought, okay, how can I, meal prep is, is under a category of more, of more of health and fitness. And so I said, what if I could meal prep but if I made a goal of meal prepping 25 weeks out of this year, don't pay attention to anything else, 25 weeks, make sure you got your meals planned for the entire week, all right? And so um, I've got a bunch of those little things, like um, um, another one is to uh, falls under a category of podcasting because it's become something that I really like. And so I made a goal of, hey, Let's find someone and help help someone start a new podcast of their own this year. You know, <clears throat> share the share the love and the knowledge. And so I've got these things, some of these things written up on a piece of paper um, on my refrigerator. And so one, when I do one of these things, I'll just put a little tick mark underneath there. So this week I've coached five CrossFit classes. So. There's the five tickers, little five little tick marks under the 100 CrossFit classes area. And so um, I, I made a goal of running 1,000 miles this year. And so I've got my mileage up there on the refrigerator so I can see it. And um, it, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of these things that I'm trying to do throughout the year. And I'll see it all the time. And that really helps me focus in on you know, what I'm trying to do in lots of different areas of my life, right? Another thing I do is I make sure to open my book. I'll, I'll, I don't have my book with me, my journal. Uh, I'll, maybe I can put a picture in here and show you, but I look at this page where I've written 2019 and I've written all the categories I'm focused on and I make sure I look at that thing every day. And you know, get a good, clear vision of, hey, these are the things that you sat down, looked at, and decided that you wanted to improve on these things. And I don't want you to think, I don't want you to care about anything else this whole year. Just focus on these things and make sure that at least every day you're doing one or two things that improve upon one of the things on these pages in this book. And it's helped me immensely. Um, I just find that I've got some clear direction and focus. Um, I know exactly, I know what I want to do. I know where I'm trying to get to and um, it's really helped. So um, I'll share a picture of that with you uh, just as an example, but um, hopefully over the next um, few weeks, I want to have a goal. Speaking of, speaking of challenges and goals, I want to do, I want to do, um, I think it was, it was 24 vlogs this year so this is number one so hopefully over the next few weeks the next sets of these vlogs I can share a little bit more of that kind of stuff with you if you're interested in it if not whatever uh, I'll I'll talk about something but anyway <laughs> maybe I can share some more of that as the year goes goes along and I can share as I complete some of those goals with you so again um, this is number one happy new year um, I really think 2019 is going to be a huge year for me, myself, my family, uh, uh, Lift Heavy Run Long, our community, so many good things going on. 
so many great things happening. So um, I will talk to you next time.